Good morning, I'm Brian Sherwin and I'm here with Mark Ortega and we're going to be discussing cross-platform development with Xamarin Visual Studio today and uh, we're excited you could join us here at uh, Microsoft Virtual Academy and welcome Mark. Thanks, thanks for having me. I'm excited to uh, come out here to, the, uh, to do this presentation on Xamarin and Visual Studio. Uh, it's a great, uh, great way to get iOS and Android apps built for uh, the different platforms using the same code uh, and using Visual Studio. So uh, I'm Mark, like Brian said, and I am owner of Redbit. Uh, my Twitter is right there, at RedbitDev, and my if you want to grab me on Twitter there. I've been developing for about 15 years, uh, focusing on mobile and backend systems. And uh, you know, I've built for large enterprises, startups, software companies. Uh, you know, a lot of different systems out there, and I've been a Microsoft MVP for 11 years, from the uh, Windows Embedded to .NET Compact Framework, and, you know, just building and focusing on mobile for a long time. And now I'm soon to be a Xamarin uh, developer, certified developer, that's the word, and, uh, you know, just focusing on Xamarin too. We're a Xamarin Premier Partner at Redbit, and uh, just building out apps for customers. Great. It says you're almost a certified developer. How, how much oh. more do you have left to do for that? And what, what kind of things do you have to do to go into that? So I'm almost a developer, meaning that I got the link uh, to take the test, but I just haven't taken the test yet. So to be a certified developer, you have to go to Xamarin University, uh, do some online courses, uh, uh, instructor-led, and then uh, take the test after you're, you're done some uh, mandatory courses. That's great. Great. Well, I'm Brian Sherwin. I'm a technical evangelist with Microsoft, and so I get to go around and teach and inspire people to develop for the Microsoft platform. Um, I've been my uh, work usually is around uh, Azure, Windows, and Connect. Uh, I've been a developer for 17 years, um, working on the Microsoft platform, a lot of stuff uh, with mobile as far back as uh, as Windows CE. Um, so, let's uh, take a look then and see what we're going to talk about today. Yeah, so for, for today, I mean, we have five modules set up for this, uh, for this MBA, and we're going to talk about cross-platform development with Xamarin and Visual Studio. So module one is going to be introduction, and that's what we're going to be doing right now, introduction to Xamarin using Visual Studio, give you a quick tour of everything. Uh, iOS development, we'll get a little bit deeper in with iOS and Android development with Xamarin and, and Visual Studio. And then we're going to look at some uh, code sharing techniques and Xamarin Forms in Module 4. And then at the end, once we have our application all done, we're going to look at UI test automation with the new Xamarin UI test. Uh, and the application that we're going to build is a application called Oakville Heritage Properties. Uh, and it uses an open data set from the town that I live in uh, that lists all the heritage properties within the area. So what we're going to do is we're going to build that app cross-platform. We're going to share code across the different platforms. and uh, just make it happen. We're even going to build uh, in Module 4 a Windows Phone version using Xamarin Forms. Uh, so we're going to hit all three, all three platforms that are out there. Great. Looking forward to it. So I guess to set expectations, uh, our target audience, we're expecting that you're going to be familiar with Visual Studio. Uh, since Xamarin is a C-sharp platform, we're hoping everybody's familiar with uh, C-sharp and uh, also some Windows development. Yeah, if you're, if you're a Windows developer, uh, you know, it's, it's a great way to um, extend your apps into different markets, uh, into different platforms, uh, because you already have the code available to you. Now, some uh, suggested material and prerequisites are uh, on the Windows platform. You need uh, Windows 8.1, Visual Studio, um, you know, Xamarin 3.5, Android SDKs, and uh, for the final final one, we need the um, Windows Phone SDKs. On Mac OS, because we are building a uh, iPhone application, we are going to need a Mac OS to do the actual builds with Xcode installed and all the uh, iOS SDKs, Android SDKs, and Xamarin 3.5 installed on there. And we'll go through all that, how all that works uh, throughout the modules. All right. Uh, so one other thing you can do, make sure you join the, M the Microsoft Virtual Academy uh, community. There's free online training out there. Uh, there's 2 million registered users, and, and there's really stuff that you can learn uh, from Microsoft, all sorts of things, whether it's Windows development, uh, iOS development, game development, uh, jQuery. There are a number of uh, courses out there that you can take to, to learn uh, good stuff, and it's all free through that Virtual Academy. All right, so let's get started. Uh, on, on 
modules. Okay. So the first one we're going to look at is introduction to intro to Xamarin using Visual Studio. And the module overview, uh, essentially what we're going to be covering is uh, the technology snapshot. Uh, we're going to do the technology snapshot. What is Xamarin? What you require? Uh, how it all works together, Xamarin with Visual Studio. And we're going to put a, a quick Hello World demo of building a iOS and Android application. So for technology snapshot, essentially, uh, we've got this quote here. So in a perfect world, you could develop a single code base yet target all devices. Unfortunately, you know, we really don't live in that world. Um, but we do have options as developers. So the first option is we could do HTML5, JavaScript, CSS type uh, development using web standards. Um, and then coupled with that, you also have a web and native frameworks uh, called hybrid apps that you could build. Um, the first one, you're going to be running directly in a web browser. And the second one, you're going to be in an application. Uh, it's, you, know, you could deploy it to the App Store, uh, but it's a web browser built in uh, within your app. So you're still running JavaScript and CSS and all that, um, all that type of code. Right. And so, so when we're doing that, we're spending a lot of time doing responsive web design, trying to create uh, applications that uh, run on all the different kinds of devices. Exactly. But they all end up looking the same, right? Exactly. Yeah, they all look the same. Uh, and, you know, there's still a lot of work because they're all different browsers that you're building for. Uh, so there's still quite a bit of work to do, in our experience at least, to get the application functional across all browsers. All right. So if we wanted to have something that looked uh, more familiar to the user, we would do... Yeah, we would get, then get into uh, native. So, you know, a lot of applications, they could work well with uh, web type uh, technologies, um, and a lot of people are doing it. But sometimes you just need that native look and feel of the application, uh, you know, and you want the app to feel like it's part of the platform. Uh, so then you get into uh, native development. So you get into Objective C, C Sharp, and Java. Uh, but the problem there is you have to write three separate applications and you have three separate code streams for essentially the same app. Uh, so you require larger budgets, larger teams to get things going. And then the other option is you could use uh, cross-platform uh, frameworks such as Xamarin. And that's what we're here for today. So with Xamarin, uh, you could leverage your C-sharp code across the different platforms and you know, target more um, uh, target the different platforms and extend your market base out there. And, uh, you know, if you're a consumer facing app or if you're an enterprise trying to do uh, BYOD, um, you know, it's a good way to get out there, to get your apps out there. Great. So this gives me an opportunity to build my application once and then run it across multiple platforms uh, with as much code share as possible. Exactly. And you still get the benefit of native code, which is, which is always good. Gotcha. Well, let's take a look, better look at, exa at Xamarin. Yep. So with Xamarin, I mean, we'll be using c -sharp code to develop iOS, Android, and Windows applications. Uh, so you'll have full access to uh, all the native APIs. Everything compiles down to native code. And then uh, what you'll be using is you can use Visual Studio. So if you're familiar with Visual Studio, it's a great way to, to, uh, to develop your applications. So Visual Studio for iOS, Windows, and Android development. And on average, I mean, people, you can share from 60 to 75% of code. Using Xamarin Forms, you could share from, uh, you know, people are getting 90% of code share. Uh, and you build fully native interfaces. So I think that's the great part is it's, uh, it's a native application. It fits into the platform, and it just looks like it belongs on the platform. It's not like you shoved it into an Android app uh, or an iOS app into Android or something like that. Um, the other advantage is you could build apps uh, faster with libraries that you're familiar with from uh, NuGet. So you could pull all those, uh, all those libraries into your application. And Xamarin provides, uh, they have a component store uh, with a bunch of free components and also paid components. And uh, they have sample applications where you could download and you could learn from or you could use, as, use them as starter applications. And if you've invested in the Microsoft ALM infrastructure, uh, you could definitely leverage that and use Xamarin within your ALM environment. Great. So if I've already got an investment in learning C Sharp and my, we, we've already got a bunch of C Sharp assets, this is a great way then for me to, to move forward with that into a mobile environment. Exactly. Exactly. So now with, uh, with Xamarin, you have, uh, like we mentioned, we have C Sharp. And then Xamarin, what it does, it takes all that code and it compiles it down to uh, native on iOS and Android. And like we said, the beauty of it is uh, you can use it on the Windows platform also. 
Now, with the share code environment, so usually what you're going to be doing is you're going to, uh, your UI is going to be unique for every platform. And Xamarin also provides a Mac version, so you could build for Mac. Um, you could build for Mac. And then, and then you have some shared code in there, uh, Xamarin Mobile, Business Logic. Uh, you could do cloud integration, database access. So usually all that is uh, shared code that you're going to share across all the different platforms. So if you're used to Visual Studio, no C Sharp, I mean, using Xamarin with Visual Studio just makes sense to target more platforms. Um, you know, one code base, capture as large of a market share as possible in the different platforms, and you go from there. Great. So what do I need to get started? So what do you require? So if you're an MSDN subscriber, uh, you know, professional or premium, uh, you could get Xamarin, it's called Xamarin for you, and you get a discount for that for Xamarin iOS and Xamarin Android, and you also get access to Xamarin University. Uh, if you're on Ultimate, you could get everything that Pro and Premium gets, and you could uh, get, for, get it for up to five members uh, on your team. And now with that, um, th these are, this is basically the breakdown. Uh, if you're not an MSCN subscriber, uh, that's okay, you can still buy it. And uh, you know, you can use Visual Studio uh, within it and grab, grab a license for Visual Studio. But if you want more information on that, just go to uh, xamarin.com slash MSDN. All right, great. All right, so let's take a look at uh, Xamarin running with Visual Studio. So yeah, so with Visual Studio, if you're used to using Visual Studio, you're gonna want the same experience. So. You know, on the Android File New, for example, you get the File New dialog, you get Android temp uh, templates in there to, to build those out. You get, uh, on iOS, you get iPhone and iPad and universal templates. So you get that same familiar uh, look and feel. And even for Xamarin Forms, you get uh, project templates in there. Now, if you want to set properties, uh, you know, file or right click on the project, then click properties, and you get a nice dialog to set properties. But this is the Android property one. Uh, you could also click, or you could also set the, um, uh, you could also set the set the settings through the straight XML and through the app manifest. So this app manifest is the exact same uh, format that you have in a native Android application. So on iOS, it's the same thing. File right or right click on the project properties and and you could set uh, certain things in there. Uh, so, such as version and icons and everything. So instead of me talking about it, let's just go right into a demo with Visual Studio and we could do a walkthrough of what's available. All right, great, let's take a look. So I have Visual Studio already open here. I'm gonna, just gonna select a, a new project and I'm going to change this to a different directory. And I'm going to call this and switch to C sharp. And I'm going to start with iOS. So there you see we have uh, all the templates available to us. I'm going to select single view application right here. And I'm just going to call it hello iOS. Change this to mod one. So I'm going to click OK. And what it's going to do, uh, Visual Studio is going to create the project, and then you're going to see in Solution Explorer, we have everything here. So a dialog box pops up saying that we need to set a pin. So we need to switch over to our Mac, and I have my Mac, uh, I remote it into it. And you need to set up, uh, you need to run the, uh, the build host. So all the builds happen on, on the Mac. Uh, so this is the reason why you need it. And it's licensing requirements from Apple that you know, it has to be running, or it has to build on the Mac. Gotcha. Okay, so, so what we're doing is we're, we're pairing Visual Studio to work with our Macintosh to actually uh, have that real-time code compile exactly. for our iOS application. All right. Exactly, exactly. So I'm gonna click pair right here. I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to minimize this, and I'm going to... Now, is this something we do every time that this uh, we start at Visual Studio, or is this once nope. we've paired with the machine, it should be good? Yeah, once you've paired with the machine, you're good. You're good to go. You just click Finish, and then it'll remember it for you. Okay. And then, essentially, what we have is we have our first iOS application here, 
And if, you, if you've done uh, uh, Windows Phone development, you'll notice that you know we have our platform uh, solution platforms. Uh, you have solution configuration. You have start. Here we could select either if we want iPhone or iPhone simulator. If we select the simulator, we get a different uh, bunch of target types. So right now I, I've only have 8.1 installed. Um, so 8.1, different iPhone versions, iPhone 4S, 5S, all that. Uh, so you could test on the different uh, simulators that are available. Now, are those simulators I'm installing on my PC, or are those si simulators that it's pulling from the Macintosh build host? Uh, those are simulators pulling from the Macintosh build host. Okay. So everything installed on the Mac, and it's pulling it over the Mac build uh, server. All right, great. And we could also select a real iPhone. So I have an iPod Touch connected. And you'll see here, this is my iPod Touch right here. So it's connected. You could go back and forth, and I'm using uh, uh, streaming uh, to, so you could see it on my, on my desktop there. And then a few other options. You have some options down here, which you should probably be aware of. So you could Xamarin, and for Android, um, Android, you could set the different locations.